It's the radio segment that used too much syrup on his pancakes this morning. Oh, no. So now his pants oh. are all sticky. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I hope that's syrup. Oh, no. Laser Stories, oh, okay. a segment where we read weird news stories from around the globe, just like everyone else does, except we have a laser, and those other crack knobs just don't. Ooh, this crack knobs. first laser story is out of Phoenix, Arizona. A 14 year old kid named Angel Martinez recently took his parents' Range Rover for a drive while they were out of town celebrating their anniversary. Oh, Ain't nobody okay. got time for that. I <laughs> mean, yeah, 14. <laughs> And the only reason yeah. they found out is because the cops gave them a call and said, quote, whoever was driving the vehicle, please slow down. That was a residential area. Wait, they call you like that? They make personal in-home yeah, phone calls? Dang. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess in Phoenix they do, which, I mean, that's a lot better than actually just getting a ticket. Yeah, yeah. true. But the reason we're talking about this today is because Angel's parents got creative with his punishment. Okay. And here's what they did. They moved everything from his room out into the front of the house, <gasps> including his bed, clothes, oh TV, oh. dresser, and more. What? Oh, you're in real trouble. Yeah. He's, he's sleeping in the front yard? Oh, my God. Then they made Angel sit there with a sign that said, quote, Sorry I stole my parents' car and was speeding. <laughs> yes, yes, I love it, dude. I hope they do make him sleep out there with but, the scorpion. Yeah, what was the point of moving all the furniture? I don't know. Point? Well, incredibly, a bunch of people came by and took all of his stuff. Don't! Oh, <laughs> stop. Oh, they let them no. steal his stuff. <laughs> now, for what it's Shut worth... Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! For what it's worth, Angel says he learned a lesson. Yeah! He yeah. says, quote, it's kind of weird, but I think it's a fair punishment. That means what my parents are rich. Don't yeah. worry, they're going to buy me all the stuff again. He also said if anyone has a cheap bed I can buy, <laughs> let me know. Because I don't know where I'm going to sleep. That's great. This next laser story is out of Yorkshire, England. A 26-year-old guy named Albert Nadru spent the past two weeks planning an elaborate proposal for his girlfriend, Valeria. Uh, that's like sweet. It. And I love engagements. Albert's plan included putting more than 60 balloons and 100 candles around the living room in their apartment. Oh, Dang. Oh, wow. Way to do cute stuff like oh. this for someone someday. And so he lit all the candles and then went out to get his girlfriend and bring her home to propose. But when they got back... Wait, he left? Well, he had to go get oh, her. Yeah. yeah, of course. But when he got back... He was a little bit in shock because his entire apartment no! was on fire. Ah! Shut up. Oh my god! Oh no. He left a hundred candles no. burning. They warned you about one candle I burning. Know. Not a hundred, of yeah. course. It's like a bonfire. And as he stood there and looked on in awe, the fire department rushed past him and tried to put it out. Oh my god, please tell me he still proposed. Please tell me he still got down on one knee. I hope the whole fire was scented too. Well, on the bright side. Sounds like Albert did propose, and Valeria still said yes. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, they win for most memorable yes. engagement story, though. Yeah. I, mean, I hope he like made the ashes into a heart or <laughs> yeah. something. No word on if the happy couple will get married on the steps of the local courthouse before he has to go in for his trial. Yeah. <laughs> this next laser story is out of love headquarters. Oh, I miss this place. There are over 13 million single parents in the United States, and half of them, aged 20 to 45, say they want to have more children. Whew. But wow. it's not exactly what you want to open a Tinder conversation with. <laughs> yeah. That's why a new dating app that just launched is getting some major buzz, probably because it's specifically for people with kids or for people who want to have kids. Oh, so you're like wow. starting out from the get saying, I want some babies on this app. Dang. Yeah, and it's called Hey Baby. Oh, cute. Ah. Great name. Well done. It was founded by three dads who were sick of children being a red flag or a topic that was too taboo to touch yeah. on on dating yeah. apps. That's cute. Oh, my God. I want to swipe through. All you're going to see is cute little baby pictures through that whole thing. Yeah, you find me. <laughs> I swipe through this. Everyone's like, get away from us, creeper. Yeah. They <laughs> say it's for people who want kids, too, I not know, the ones that just have it. It's still creepy, I promise. It's not taboo here. This is your place, Jose. I don't think they'll accept me. Well, according to them, <laughs> the factors that determine whether a couple has long-term compatibility are much money, kids, and religion. Okay. So that's what everything on this app is based around. Oh, interesting. Did you give them your salary? Now they really won't accept Can I you. use it to find a babysitting gig? <laughs> oh, there you go. That's smart. Well, when you set up your profile, you're asked questions like what your family plans are, how many kids you have, and how much it bothers you having dirty clothes everywhere. Not at all. I love it. That's 
<laughs> See, <laughs> those are real life questions too. Yeah. <laughs> That's a red flag. Like, will you divorce someone over towels left on the ground or not? It's like, no, I'll marry you yeah. if you leave your towels on the ground. <laughs> the app's in its beta testing phase in San Francisco now, and it will be launched Ooh. nationwide this, later this year. This is gonna be big. It is. Towel, yeah. Towel. This next laser story is out of Booze Island. Oh, yeah, let's go. I've been here many times. Let's shift to this island. It doesn't matter what kind of alcohol you drink. Knock back enough, and you'll do things that you're going to regret. Yeah. It's just real life. But <laughs> you can blame it on the alcohol. That's great. I yeah. love it. Because are, everyone could relate. Yeah. <laughs> but are different types of drunken behavior associated with different types of alcohol? Oh, for sure. I think oh, yeah. gin makes you angry. Wine? What does wine make you? Uh, you can drink on wine right now. Happy. <laughs> I feel like all alcohol just makes me kind of frisky. Oh, oh Jeffrey. Okay. But that's just me. It's the opposite of the whiskey problem. <laughs> well, someone who was probably drunk pulled 2,000 drinkers and asked what type of booze they were drinking when they did stupid stuff. Mm. Oh, great. Here's what they found. They found whiskey drinkers get arrested the most. Yeah. <laughs> it Al- makes sense. Almost twice as many people said they were drinking whiskey compared to rum in second place for arrests. Oh, rum is second. They also found that vodka drinkers are the most likely to get naked in Uh public. That's me! That's totally me! Vodka drinkers are happy drunks. Dude, yeah, Mm -hmm. we're having a good time. A third of people who've streaked said that they were drinking vodka when it happened. Mm -hmm. You're also most likely to get a tattoo after drinking vodka. I'm too scared. You're not having enough, apparently. (laughs) He's had plenty. Please don't (laughs) encourage that, Jeffrey. The survey also said you're most likely to set something on fire fire while drinking tequila. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my god! Woo! <laughs> Listen to that horn! <laughs> this feels so accurate. It really is. It's because your insides are burning after you drink the yeah. tequila. Over a third of people who started a fire while they were drunk said tequila was yeah. the culprit. Oh my god. And tequila also causes the worst hangovers, followed by vodka, whiskey, rum, and gin. Dude, tequila is oh, okay. no in between. I've had nights on tequila where no hangover, mm. or you have it's to have, the worst of your life. Because you have to have really good tequila yeah, for no right. hangover. You're right. Well, it doesn't take much to get this guy feeling toasty. Uh oh, let's yeah. get on some. Couple droplets of Mike's hard. <laughs> he is raring to go. It's the sound of a drunk turtle on a shoe, and it means laser stories has come to an end for the day. We'll do it again, same time. On